Yeah, I think uh, we can just get started. If Bank Nifty breaks 41,300, uh, short covering can come? I don't know, man. Uh, today's expired and nothing can just... So right now, gap filling, so we know, okay, majority of the times that happens. Now, let's see what all could be done. This fall down, okay? Uh, so first, uh, one second, let's quickly have a look at the positions that I have. So right now, so, uh, on an intraday basis, I'm up like almost 24K and net on net PNL is like around 40K. Okay, we are up 40K for the day so far. Uh, let's see how this goes. Meanwhile, uh, as I mentioned to you, uh, the first and foremost thing that I have been looking at or the first and foremost thing that I have been looking at is uh, market kind of actually having a gap down opening and uh, it is already known to us that whenever there is a gap down opening almost what percentage of the times once again repeat from your present understanding what are the odds that the gaps get filled the same day 60%. almost 60 percent of the times intraday gaps get filled the very same day so and uh, for trading that particular thing we can uh, basically check out uh, we can basically check out for uh, the uh or what, 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 what do you kind of actually say we could kind of actually just check out for uh this thing uh as in the opening range we can just straight away look for and uh as soon as the opening range is actually just getting broken we could just go ahead and uh, initiate a trade okay so just based on uh the opening range kind of actually just getting broken we could uh just go ahead and uh, take out a trade and in fact, today, whatsoever more or less I had done is based on the same logic again, just share my screen and tell you. Okay, some of them are still joining. Just a second. Can you see my screen, by the way? See, I'm, I'm uh, doing this from two different systems because see, last time I was uh, streaming from one of my screens, I had delay in uh, executing my trades. That is, uh, from the system, like if I start streaming from the computer that I'm using for trading purpose, that is actually giving me some delay uh, in the execution part. That is my net lag, something like that. So today what I did is I just kept one screen for showing you guys and one screen for trading for us. But positions though I can show. So Nifty chart is visible right now. Just let me know yes or no. Uh, yes, sir. I'll just this screen. Just sorry. Okay, I'll just log in trading view over here. Really. Much trouble. So, just a moment, guys. Okay, so uh, today specifically, I want to look into uh, uh, trading and uh, this thing that is, I specifically wanted to trade Nifty for the day. So you'll see the gap down everything over here only. Really. So this is a gap down opening. So first 15 minute range and uh, at the beginning of the day itself, uh, that is like uh, very fast. It was like a very fast of a gap filling move that took place today. Okay. So can someone tell me where Nifty is right now? Is this a resistance support? All support converted to new resistance. What do you feel about? Uh, so for today, there is no arrow. Repeat again. Uh, risk reward is not there, you are saying, correct? Yes, yes, but let yes. me tell you, there are things that can be done better. So if you want, you can actually go ahead with the trade over here, straight away, an aggressive entry. So it would be like something like a one is to one. Uh, today, like gap filling move, if you're thinking about trading, risk reward won't be uh, good if you're going for a straight away trade. But if you want to do it as an option strategy, it can be done. Okay, if it is not yet discussed, just wait. But gap filling is done. So this is the point where Nifty has a resistance. That you agree with me? 
that is this particular price point could act as a resistance level this was initially a support that is converted to resistance can uh, do you guys agree with me yes or no bank nifty is going really bullish huh? so come on guys speak up yes do you agree with the fact that this could potentially act as a good level of uh, yes. 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 correct yes sir yeah this is not something tough uh, because yeah yeah agree so all support level converted to new resistance now let us wait some time and let's look at the uh, price action formation so right now i will just quickly share my this thing so see uh, i have a profit of almost 30k for the day that is like all together up like 44k and uh, apart from this mm -hmm. we i'm also making around some other option strategies that i have oh my god again it is moving up huh? and i'm said with that uh, we are kind of actually making around another 30k over here also okay so these are some uh, positional accounts that is running so we'll just stop this so let's just get back to the charts of nifty again and let's just figure out what is to happen so nifty is continuing to go really bullish huh? so it's like extremely bullish right now so uh, my assumption is that uh, either over here or something it should face a rejection okay now the next level would be somewhere here either it should face a rejection and consolidate if it goes beyond this then i'll have to take a bullish view that is i'll have to sell uh, put options okay that is i'll have to take a bullish view so people who are not familiar with what call option put option is just forget about that for now just look into the price action part how we are uh, looking at the levels how price comes within the level so now if it is to fall down then the next point of support could be somewhere here and this could be the immediate trading range for nifty okay if i look at uh, in terms of the trading range point of view and uh, this would be the immediate range so let's see uh, whether the market is to consolidate in this particular range or break above and just continue to move higher so sir uh, we'll have to take a call it is like whatsoever it could be trying to do uh, we'll actually have to take a call on what to do next here after so so i i wish market actually consolidates within this range so today is thursday today is thursday today is the expiry day so what is the speciality of an expiry day friends so what is the speciality of an expiry day so expiry day is the time uh expiry time day. Uh, yeah there is this concept called as theta decay that is the highest okay i'm asking this question because some beginners are there okay uh, the concept of premium decay would be the fastest or the premium decay would be the highest options premium uh, depreciate like anything on an expiry day theta decay we call it just a moment what is happening this nifty just trying to lift so let's have a look at bank nifty bank nifty is finally taking a pause almost every other bank is bullish okay almost every other bank over here is bullish hmm. so how many of you feel nifty can break above the resistance how many of you feel if you could just manage to break above and continue moving up no i think this time it will break because many times that level has been tested okay so let's have a look at the volume right now and let's see how the market is picking up so picking up with good volume or is the volume okay so when these last two candles has come up so decent volume activity is there uh, but if it is to break above and uh, continue moving up i feel there could be a rapid rise in the volume activity so let's just figure out what is to happen okay another volume is like kind of building up
no see uh, i would be the happiest person if market drops right now okay why because uh then to the support is going to be there and the range though is like more or less validated if it moves up then it is going to be a headache for me it is moving up i think if even if the market breaks the resistance it is going to consolidate there so there can be a good dk uh yeah but then the thing is uh so better will shift the puts up yeah yeah exactly if it breaks and give confirmation then we can uh, go to put side and we can uh, there can be a good dk yeah let's see let's kind of actually see what today could be a trending day Arif. okay Yeah, actually because the when event has been gone and <clears throat> it's like our market didn't react big. that bad no a big move is pending for a long time yeah so actually I'm... because uh, in bank nifty also 41500 level is rested three to four times so this time it may give like a big rise move let's see no problem mm. See, let's not predict the markets. Just let's just respond towards it. So, what I could <laughs> agree. Is, there is no point in predicting the market. Let's just respond towards it. See, as far as right now, so our cushion is increasing. I said, uh, I think at the beginning of the day, my profit was only some thirty k, right? I don't know. I forgot how much was it at the start. It was some thirty k. So now our net PNL has come to forty four k. Intraday is like twenty eight k on the straddles. It is on the position so far. Like this is the DK. It is all together. I have like around oh how much? Okay, leave it. So let's just get back to the screens. So now to Nifty. I wish it faces some rejection over here. That is what I want. I don't want it to break out straight. But let's see. Market won't do what you want. So I badly want Nifty to face rejection and come down. Hey, hey! Actually, like there is a uh, doge uh, doji is happening now, right? Yeah. It may uh, not happen. You are. Candle is still running, so you can take a call. It's a confusion. There's a tug of war happening. So what I could tell yeah, you but... uh, right now is like, uh, sell, like somebody is not liking the market to move from there. Yeah. See, actually, what's happening is like the before candle, whatever is there is a small uh, wick in the upper side. That mm. means the market went up, and due to some sellers, it started coming down, right? Mm. But when you see the uh, candle which is forming now, so we can uh, see that uh, there is a huge wick in the up. Uh, That means if this ended up in green or any color, but the next will up by default it will go down, right? See, there is nothing like it will go down, it will go up. But what I can say is, there is rejection coming in from eighteen one hundred. Okay. Uh, nobody can say it is going to go up or go down. None of us can say. But okay. looking at the price action right now, we know this is a level. This was an all support level and converted to new resistance. Yeah. So here it is facing rejection. That's it. That 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 too we can say. Okay. There is a huge call writing at eighteen to one, and eighteen at one hundred also. Hopefully, let's see rejection. That's what I want. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Are you? It is a five minutes candle or five minutes? Five minutes. Five minutes.
Okay, so it seems like 18100 is once again being tested. Let's see what happens. And volume is also picking up. You see that, right? Yeah. So whether it can sustain over here or not, that's the question. So the market is just continuing to rise. So what I'll just do is I'll just come out of the 18,050 call options that I solved. Okay. So what I just did is, so initially though I had solved some 18,050 call options that I exited. So now I have only 18,050 put options that are solved. And I'll just wait. So now again, if market is to fall down, then I'll probably sell 18,050 call options again. Market falls now, if it falls. Sorry, 18,100 call options I can sell. So market is going bullish. It broke this resistance level. So the position actually turns around to be bullish right now. And if you have a look at our PNL right now, our PNL actually decreases. So it becomes this 35K it was around 45, right? So the market is just moving up. Let's just figure out what is going to happen. So right now, where are the markets? Is exactly at eighteen one hundred. Okay. So now, what could be the next level of resistance for Nifty? So if I just have a look at the charts, I probably feel you now the next level of rejection could, or the next resistance could be somewhere over here. That is like eighteen one fifty. Uh, those levels would be the next level of resistance for Nifty. Sir, even below that, sir. Below that, where? 18, uh, in between 18140 and 18120. Uh, 18140, I'm just selecting the round strikes. Mm -hmm. Okay, just selecting the round strikes for us. So, I think I'll sell 18150 for right now. Hello. I think it's around 18, 130, sir. Okay, fine. So, uh, see, I'll consider this to be the range now. That is, yeah. uh, downside though, support could be here. Uh, upside though, like, it's like a very wide range, right? Mm -hmm. 
but that's good enough for me for now like i'll just consider this wide range itself and then i'll just play the game so i just want market to stay somewhere over here these are the levels that i'm looking for if it is to drop i feel support could come here 1850 uh, on the other hand side if it is to break the resistance could be somewhere here you said 1840 18140 something but 18150 is a round level that is 18150 18200 you understand no round levels is what i majorly look out for round means 18150 18200 18250 18, like that okay 18000 i won't be like a, next level is at 18010 i'll say 18000 now rejection is coming from 18100 again let's see market is playing with us no problem let's so just understand the price action part they give importance to the price action give importance to the volume so look at this candle that is getting from this like an inverted hammer so if i have a bearish candle over here then this turns out to be an evening star formation happening at a key resistance level 5 minutes now just look at this 5 minutes shooting star okay yeah Hmm. Where are they? So it's like right now what we have is somewhat similar to a shooting star formation. Hari, can you please tell me as to what is the trade you have taken now? You told P okay. and you sold uh, P yeah. and I'll tell you what I did at the beginning of the day. Uh, I sold put options because there was a gap down opening. Correct? Ah, uh, okay. Any query or something else? Do you know? I'm not aware. See, can can you please repeat? I'm I'm explaining. Just see. Today we had a gap down opening, right? Gap down. and uh, we know that majority of the times gaps get filled so i had discussed with you that uh, if you have good risk reward ratio then you can go ahead with the trade problem today is if you have a look at the opening range breakout the risk reward ratio would be almost 1 is to 1 so that doesn't become a trading opportunity correct so but we know majority of the times gaps get filled so what i did is as the market was actually moving up i went ahead and sold 18050 put option uh, that is put option i sold expecting market to move up then market started stay consolidating then i sold call option also and that is what you see over here 18050 put and call both sold okay now the positions are back to 25k gains that is 44k all together where, where can you see the positions this is again can you see here 18050 17000 once i had just do you see this 18000 too many positions i have do you see this okay i think some more so 18050 uh, see don't you won't be able to interpret from my terminal 
So 18,050 put option is what I solved, expecting market to kind of move up. Then when market started consolidating, I saw call option also. That is put and call both was solved. Okay. Then uh, as I mentioned to you, these are the levels that I'm watching out for. That is, this was the initial level. Then again, this was the initial level, sorry. So now if this level is getting broken, where could be the next level? Next level of resistance. It could be somewhere here. You see this, right? 18,156. So if market is to move up, I feel the next level of resistance could come over here. Do you agree with me, doctor? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this could be the next level of resistance, 18,150. So now the market is over here, 18,100. And uh, 18,100 is also a crucial uh, resistance level, which was initially acting as a support. Here, if you see, this was in old support, later on converted to resistance. Now also it is acting as resistance. So right now, my view is that if market is to move up, it has to move up somewhere till here. That is 18,140, 18,150 levels. If it is to fall down, it will find the support over here. So, so far, uh, right now, the position, another position that I did is, I feel market can't go above this. So I saw the call option here. I, I, I'll just go it over here. Just give me a moment. So I kind of actually feel that market could stay below this and above this for the day. That is what I'm playing right now. That is, if it is to move up, I feel that it, it's not here. If it is to fall down, I feel it could find support over here. And that is what I want to trade. So if you have a look over here, this is like a evening star. Now somebody who wants to go for a directional trade. So today, since it is Thursday, it is an expiry day. That is why I'm playing uh, only the non-directional because good DK would be there. So this could be a potential setup. You see this, right? You get a one issue two. If this particular evening star low is getting broken, that is if this low is getting broken, somebody goes for a short at the low with a stop loss at the high, this could be an evening star trade. If the low is getting broken, but if low is not getting broken, then not a trade. Okay, let's see. Now, uh, something to be uh, noted in this case is that even though market is picking up, do we see a significant rise in volume? Do we see a... No, there is no, no, no. We don't see a significant rise. Okay. So that kind of conveys that this could probably be some sort of a uh, range bond day, hopefully. Let's see. Significant rise in volume is not yet there. Volume, okay, volume has rose, but not so significant. Kind of market itself is in a confusion what to do next. That is what is happening, I feel. And now let's figure out. Okay. Yeah, the volume is the ruling in the market. Everything. Okay. So right now, so we are kind of all, almost back to our all levels. You see this. So we are back to like 44K back. And show you the other accounts also. And we are back to the same place where we were earlier. Okay. Now this also, we are back to the almost the same. We have a 30K here also. So like all together, almost a 70K. Mm. See, market is playing at 18,100, you see. Uh, so this is actually a good example of how well levels are respected in the markets. So 18,100 is still holding good. So anybody is interested in checking out for a directional trade that is a short position at the low of this candle getting broken with your stop loss at the high, anyone? Your risk could be around just 20 points. That's it. 
and the target you could check out for would be almost 40 points anyone is interested in this trade in the setup that is as soon as the low is getting broken over here that is as soon as this candle is low you see no can you see my screen sorry sorry anyone is interested in the setup going for a short over here with your stop loss over here with your target over here as soon as the low is getting broken this would be a setup based on what formation what is this formation that you see come on guys what is it ha Inside, inside. My God, what what are you telling? Oh, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. Read the book ten times. Ah. See, my question is simple. Ah, uh, so what what I kind of actually just figure out for ourselves is, I see yeah. some sort of a evening star formation happening over here. Mm -hmm. Correct. So this yeah, is a yeah. support level that later on converts to your new resistance. and there could be a risky attempt to consider going for a short once this low is getting broken the swing low with a stop loss at the high okay and if things doesn't go in your favor once again will convert it back to a straddle okay so let's see so as far as i'm concerned now though i would like the market to stay within this particular range that is 18150 below 18150 and above 1850 so let's see what could be done done So there could be a risky uh, directional trading opportunity over here to short over here below the low with your stop loss at the high. Clear? Okay. Maybe can you give your outlook on Bank Nifty? Okay. Now uh, see, uh, thing is, uh, see, I, I'll be very frank with you. I'm not somebody who is believing in outlook and all. Okay. Because see, from my last six seven years of experience, whatever I just understand is okay. We should read news. We should look at all these things. But predicting the markets is impossible. So if I have a look at the major banks out there, it is anybody can tell you that all the banks are looking bullish. Correct? Yeah, yeah. Okay, all the banks are looking bullish at the moment, apart from HDFC Bank. So what my outlook, or if you ask me to mention an outlook, let's say Kotak and uh, HDFC Bank is picking up, Bank Nifty will go more bullish. <laughs> Okay. So Kotak and SDFC, if it is managing to pick up alongside with uh, uh, other banks, then Magnetic is going to go bullish. But that to anybody can say, correct? How how would we trade it? So today mm -hmm. expiry day, so trading it uh, with options would be very difficult. So better you define a range and trade. Look at the price action, find out points where rejection is coming in. So that to we can that is more predictable, I feel. So if this is getting broken, it is going to go up. If this is getting broken, it is going to come down. So now, so that uh, what I said, that evening star directional opportunity is there. Yeah. Yes. So maybe if the swing low is getting broken, I'll roll uh, the eighteen one hundred and fifty calls to maybe uh, eighteen thousand uh, one hundred or something. Let's see. Let's figure out. So you see that uh, swing low being taken out right now. Can you observe? Come on, guys, please speak up. Can you see the swing low getting broken right now? Yes, sir. It's getting broken. It's just getting triggered. Let's see.
so there is no necessity that market should fall okay so just because evening star is there resistance is there there is no necessity that market has to come down once again i am mentioning so that's what i said here what is the thing in your favor risk reward ratio and this evening star is just a, uh, what do you call it i don't know how to say it just a way how you are figuring it out okay there is no necessity it has to fall down but one is to two is there it's worth the risk if you when you are making price as you lose and your odds are 50 50 clear see how many of you have gone to a casino nobody no want to but no my god my god Uh, nobody has gone to a casino are you, are you kidding me there is no casino in our town and to casino okay see don't think i'm encouraging casino but once in your life you should go to casino and understand how it works yeah actually okay so you should understand how, how the rule of probability works how many of you have played cards by the way yeah me i played okay so same thing so understand how there also is like law of probability itself right Yes. Yeah. So, uh, can you guarantee that you are going to win a cards game? Nobody can guarantee. But no, no, no. You, if you know how to play, like you can actually have things in such a manner that uh, you'll try to make the odds in your favor somehow, right? Yeah. You're going to play all on probability. So you'll have a look at okay, what are the cards that has already come out? Then you'll kind of actually figure out uh, what do you say? uh all cards that yeah so this is second now let's see what is happening so i'm just thinking whether i had to roll down the calls or not i'm just thinking whether or whether not to do it let's see how to roll on the calls roll down means excel what is mean by rolling on the uh, okay rolling down okay So right now I have eighteen one fifty call. Okay, I will tell you. So just have a look at my screens. So uh, I have a uh, see. My market is falling down. Oh, sorry, wrong screen. See initially I am sold over here. Okay, I am sold over here also. Okay, you think about market like a sandwich. This is where Nifty is. So this is the bread on top. And this is the bread at the bottom. So this is the market. Clear. So at some point in time, let's say the market is actually moving up. It is coming close to the upper layer. Upper layer is still here. What about the lower layer? So initially, the distance between the upper layer and lower layer was same thing, like this. Hmm. So after some time, market is moving up. Here, the distance, if it is ten, a hundred points. Here the distance become two hundred points. That is the difference between the upper range and lower range. So initially this was the distance to the upper range, and this was the distance to the lower range. Same same, almost same same. But when market falls on, what happens to the range to the lower range? What happens to the distance to the lower range? Decreases. Decreases. So what I'll do is I'll exit this, and I'll make it same distance. I'll exit this eighteen one fifty call. Maybe I'll sell eighteen one hundred, or I'll try to make the distance the same. Mm. That's what we refer to as rolling down. Think about markets like a sandwich. Mm. You're making a sandwich with the markets wherever market is. Mm. Equal distance upside and equal distance downside you sell. So market is falling down. You tighten this range. I'll show you all these things, guys. Uh, so for doctors, guys, these things are not discussed. Okay. So please bear with me for now. So now just let's look into the price action part only. So now, if you have a look at it, we are getting little bit DK. So now, though our this thing PNL is going up to almost fifty K over here on uh, these straddles, and uh, whereas if I have a look at on two zero the other hand, if I have a look at the other position, the same concept. Yeah, Hari. So the rolling down or lowering up is has not been discussed for us, right? No, 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 it's not discussed. So, It is going to be going to discuss, right? Yeah. So we'll understand it later, right? Done, done, done. So uh, let's focus purely on the concept of theta decay. Uh, let's uh, see, understand. Let's oh, sorry. Let's purely focus on the concept of this price action part. How market could be confined within the range, 
all these things. Uh, let's give priority to that part for now. Uh, this rolling down, rolling up and roll is not something tough. Okay. So it's like first time when you're hearing, you'll be like, okay, what does this guy say? It's not something tough. Now I just wanted to say market is staying like this. We'll get some good profits. I think I'll make around uh, some 1 lakh plus today. If market is staying like this, I wish that happens. How many lots with how many lots, sir? So, how do you? With how many lots, sir? Like, uh, uh, to be very honest, I don't have a count on exactly how many lots I have. Right? Uh, if you have a look at it, look, I've sold almost 14,000 quantity over here. And uh, in some other accounts, also I have an equivalent. That is, I have. Okay, more than one lakh we can make. Okay, market is good. I'll just show you, just see this. So how many quantity do I have over here? All net sold. See, multiple positions are the hedges are bought, multiple things are there. I have almost net sell quantity, almost 14K. Okay, over here uh, in this broker called First Stop. And uh, in this particular broker called uh, Fi Paisa. This broker called Fi Paisa, I have almost... 60 positions open. So here I'm making around 30K. So uh, the margin utilization that I have put into deployment right now is almost like 50 lakhs. That is, uh, I have utilized only around 20, 30 percentage of my capital is used right now. Let's see how it goes as hope for the best. Sir, I have a question. Yeah, please. So, sir, say for example, I had a directional view in the morning, right? I took in, uh, took a, uh, say, I placed an order of, uh, of 41,400 put option. I sold it, right? Now, I still have a bull bullish view, right? Mm -hmm. But at the same time, right now, say the direction is changing. I don't want to, I, I want to wait and see, right? Yeah. But at the same time, I want to adjust the position. So, how, what mindset should I have in order to, you know, uh, for example, if I have to now sell fall also? In fact, that is exactly what I did. No, so initially we had a bullish view gap filling move, okay. but and then you feel that okay, market could consolidate or stay sideways. So, what do you do? You go ahead and sell up, uh, put the option. Option. Uh, option or call option, yeah. expecting market to stay sideways for a while within the range. Now, again, if you have a feeling market will fall down more. Then as I mentioned to you over here, two, three things can be done. One is you could actually just go ahead and uh, this thing, sell something over here, the evening star. This is a price action setup, no? Correct. You can trade a price action setup over here if you want, up to you. The risk reward is one is a two. So, so far the trade is a little bit in your favor, but no necessity it has to come down. Understood. understood, understood. Yeah. So, yeah. This is your thing, man. Like ultimately, your call, and this is discretionary trading. Okay. So, yeah, I'll go running. I'll just tell you. I'll just show you. This is one lakh capital. Okay, this is just a one lakh account. So, it is making around 75 rupee profit, 75 rupee, 800 rupee, 100 rupee profit. It is making now. This is an algorithm. So, what is algorithm does is wherever Nifty is, it will sell a call option and put option. Now, let's say market is moving up. It will close all, all the old position and create a new position at 18100. If market falls on, it will create a new position at uh, so where, where several markets. So that is a rule-based thing. That is some rules are there that you're following. But if you're manually doing uh, or uh, if you're looking at the charts and doing, perspective differs no? time to time. So you have to take a call depending on your view. So right now, uh, as I mentioned to you, evening star setup is the price action logic that I see on the screen. And all of you agree with me, it's not something tough, correct? So what I see for myself is this is an old uh, support level, later on converted to new resistance. Now this resistance is actually being tested. Uh, I see an evening star formation as a confluence. What I see is when market is picking up, the market is not picking up with good enough volume. That is, if market is not picking up a good enough volume, that means this move probably is not going to sustain. Oh my God, something is wrong with me. Yeah, probably the market, this movement is not going to sustain if uh, the volume is not good. Clear? So that's the logic. So now what I'm just thinking about is 
So this is 14 and 25 as like too much of a disparity. I have to bring down 1829 and that will be 26. I think I'll have to roll down the calls maybe. Let me just. Okay. Call by installation on my call. See, market is just playing around with us, okay, right now. So someone who would have taken a trade based on evening star, uh, is he making any profit right now? That is someone who shorted the market based on evening star, will he or she make any profit? What do you feel? No, theta decay maybe. Yeah, okay. If option. you see, it's actually uh, if it is option buying, then it will be theta decay. Yeah. Okay. So if it is like uh, option buying, then he or she will lose money. Uh, future trading, no profit, no loss, but option selling would make money. Buy now. So today I don't want to fight the markets. If something is going against me, I'll just make sure that whatsoever we have made so far is protected, okay? I don't want to play much aggressive. Uh, I don't want to play much aggressive. And uh, this week has been very bad for me. Okay, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, three days, all days I lost money. And that's kind of like too bad. Market was like uh, not at all favorable. I was not getting any DK at all. Uh, like Monday, I lost 0.5 percentage. Tuesday, I lost 0.2 percentage. Yesterday, I lost how much? I think yesterday I lost around. Ah, uh, yesterday I thought it is just like charges I paid for nothing. So last three days has been very bad. Let's see. Just want to close this day good. <clears throat> uh, so now this the swing low will kind of probably be converted to your new resistance. The swing low level could probably converted to the resistance if it was to continue dropping on. I'll still just move up again, play around over here and that's it. So rejection coming in again, let's see how it goes. So if market falls below 18,078 something, because if market falls down below this level again, then what I will do is I'll sell 18,100 call option. Okay, that is I'll tighten the range. That is I'll bring down, I was telling you about the sandwich stick, correct? So now 18,50 is sold. I'll tighten the range, I'll sell 18,100. So right now, though, we are sold at 18,150. Somewhere here.
I think I'll have to sell it in 100 now. Continue to go bearish. So let's quickly have a look at Bank Nifty, what Bank Nifty is doing. Bank Nifty HDFC is continuing, Kotak is going really bearish. That is what is pulling down Nifty also. See, right now I have just tightened the range, okay? That is what I just did for myself is, uh, I also sold uh, this thing, uh, that is 18,100 I sold right now. This 18,100 call I have sold, and 18,050 put I have sold, okay? So why I did this was, I just wanted to make this equidistant. So any any person took a trade based on this uh, evening star, they would be at one is to one by now. Anyone took a trade based on evening star? Nobody. That's kind of quite bad. What will be the ROA? Uh, good enough, man. See, whatever ROI I make, uh, like as far as I'm kind of concerned, all my margin is coming from collateral. That is, see, if I have like one crore in the market or two crore or three crore, how much ever it might be in the markets, I'm not keeping that money in cash. Rather, I put it into Bharat Bond. Uh, I put it into like uh, some ETFs, Nifty Bs, Bank Bs, or into stocks. That is our alpha portfolio. All these things we park our money into. That money is actually plus, then I sell option. So the good thing is whatever returns my portfolio makes, that I'll get. And on top of that, whatever returns our, uh, this thing, uh, trading does, that also. So it's like both, both benefits. So if I look at today's ROI, if I close at around 2 lakhs, uh, it would come around. On the margin utilize, it would come around 2%. Sorry, it will come around 4% on the margin money used. That is around 50 lakhs that is used. It will come around 2%. Sorry, it will come around 4%. But overall, like return-wise, if you have a look at it, it will come just 1%. Whatever I'm saying is on the margin utilized. So absolute, if I speak in terms of capital, it will come around just 1%.
Hi, sir. Uh, sir, my name is Mohammed. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Uh, sir, uh, I sometimes read regarding this, uh, this various strategies and uh, how people trade. Mm -hmm. So uh, I come across this, uh, came across this uh, specific strategy called Big Boys uh, Covered Call. Big Boys Covered Call. You're calling, talking yes. about covered call. Okay. Yeah. Yes. So uh, what is your uh, take on that? Uh, for, sir? Whose video did you watch? Big Boy, IT is again. No, sir. My friend was mentioning about it. So I read about it in the this thing. Okay. I think he watched IT Jagan's uh, video. Okay. So because big boy, that term is usually used by IT Jagan. That's right. IT Jagan is my mentor. We are like very close also. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, so, sir, for people with high capital, uh, do you recommend uh, this strategy? Of course. See, uh, see, ultimately, at the end of the day, uh, it is like not about high capital, low capital. It is about your risk management. If you can manage one lakh, uh, with see, if you can't manage one lakh, you can't manage one crore. People think that okay, if you have big capital, you can manage, but no, nothing like that. So it's ultimately about your risk management. How do you, uh, how do you do it? That is like, how do you manage the position? So nothing like big capital, small capital. It's ultimately about risk management. It's about risk reward. Nothing else matters. Okay, sir. That's why I told you you should visit a casino. Not for losing money, but understanding how it works. Visit a casino once in your life. Uh, yes, sir. I've been to a casino here. Where did multiple. you go? Uh, oh. I, I, no, sir. I study in Georgia. So there are multiple. This is a casino paradise. Oh, my God. What are you studying for? <laughs> medicine. What do you study in Georgia? Medicine? Yes, sir. Okay. And you're going to... Okay, okay, this uh, okay cool. No, sir. For, for fun, we friends go. Uh, yeah, throw. Okay. okay, fine. So, uh, understand how a casino works. Like, just understand how they make sure that probability is always in their favor. So, that's exactly how you should trade. You don't predict the market. Don't say market will go up, market will go down. Nobody knows. So till now, like, see, I'll tell you, if I didn't exit the 17,000, 18,000, 50 put option, no? by now we would be up by uh, some one, one and a half lakhs, just by now. Because we would have got enough DK. So why we lost, we are not making that much money is because we exited 18,000, 50 put when market went up. Because we were expecting it to continue moving up. Correct, when this level got broken, we expected it to continue moving up, but that didn't happen. So none of us can predict. So when things are in your favor, uh, like if you feel good risk reward, then go ahead, take a trade. See now what happens with the risk reward with the trade, this, this trade, what is the risk reward right now? Right now, what is the risk reward you would get? Mohammed, like what do you think? What is the risk reward you are getting right now in this position? This is a one to one by now. What do you feel about it? Hello? Come on, guys, speak up. Hello. Okay. Uh, anyone like what is the risk reward? It's one. So, ideally speaking, now what you should be doing is uh, you should make the trade risk free. So, you took a trade uh, with a 1 to 2 risk reward ratio. Already the trade is giving you 1 to 1. So, you can bring your stop loss to your cost. That means this trade, you won't lose any money hereafter. Correct. If you're trading 100 quantity, let's assume that you're trading 100 quantity. What you shall be doing is one quantity, if you want, you can book it here. You can exit one quantity over here. You can trail it to your cost. So anyways, you'll make money in this trade. Then maybe market is going to fall down till here. Who knows? It can happen. And you can hold the rest of the quantity that you have. So these kind of things that you should be capable of doing in live markets. That is, if trade is already running in your favor, you can trail it to your cost. Trailing it to your cost means making the trade risk free. Okay. All those things you shall be doing it. So that to person to person, it would vary. Figure out what works for you and go ahead. Okay. So you want to see how much, what's the state of our positions right now? Yeah. Yes, sir. So now to we are kind of actually running at almost. 77k over here 
and you want to see my algo we are speaking about the algo with 74 rupee profit on a 1 lakh capital right on our algo we have around 60 rupees profit and on the other positions we have around 34k profits so we are up 1 lakh right So let's hope the market stays sideways or consolidates for a while now. That is what I wish for right now. Hello. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, can uh, you go on a short on Bank Nifty now? In Bank Nifty, because it has break that candle. Mm. Uh, the big one. So right now, if you ask me. This is the Bank Nifty chart, right? I don't think so, man. Because now, from almost HDFC is also finding will find a support somewhere here. I don't think it will be a good idea to short now. Kotak will find a support. Everything is in a support level. You see this, correct? Mm, yeah. So I don't think it will be a good idea. Yeah, don't go down there. You get what I'm. So now, so uh, let's expect it to be arranged. Now let's expect it to stay within the ranges that we have sought as a thing. Peaceful. Let's take a peaceful approach. So my priority today will be protecting whatever we have. Me, Nala, yar, Raja, it will ah. So that is my priority for the day is going to be protect whatsoever profits we have made so far. That is. Mm, I don't want to lose what we have made. And if some direction trades, so we can do. Uh, I'll do maybe second half. If okay. we could do a border, let's see. Oh, the cycle of that. Late coming. so this is why like partial booking is like almost very important okay so just have a look over here uh, huh? so after market kind of actually dropping a little bit now uh, we kind of just see what uh, So your audio is turned off. So you understand like why we mentioned about partial booking, right? So today is an expiry day. Anything can happen. So now we see all of a sudden market is just coming back, uh, picking up. So once again, now this will. Uh, one more thing I just wanted to say. Now also this this level will actually act probably act as a resistance. Now also again. So let's see what happens now. Okay, my view is uh, if red candle closes below eighteen thousand seventy seven, uh, below fall will happen. Below eighteen thousand seventy seven. Okay, so uh, one thing I just wanted to say: whenever you trade in the index, Nifty, Bank Nifty, all these things, you look at the round levels. That is, see eighteen thousand seventy seven. You will be looking at somebody will be looking at eighteen thousand seventy six. So uh, it's more relevant to look at round levels like eighteen thousand, eighteen one hundred, eighteen thousand fifty. 
so beyond these significant trigger points that is probably uh, the levels from where significant moves come okay so if if 18077 is getting broken for sure 1850 will be a significant support so now market is going back to 18100 let's see what we could just do about it Okay, so let's say market is again breaking above this. What will I do? Any guess? Market is again breaking above this. Two things could be potentially done. Either I'll bring this 18,050 put option upset, or as once again I'll bring it back to the all sandwich. I'll just widen the range. So now uh, market is just picking up. So somebody who didn't trail uh, their this thing, there is someone who didn't trail their positions would have actually uh, be at break even again. Or if somebody saw all call options, then they would be in profit. Put option, though, you'll be in loss for sure. Futures, if you trade it, uh, you, uh, price is back at your entry. So we'll just figure out what to do now. Market is once again approaching 18, uh, 100. Mm-hmm. Okay, so market is just going back to 18,100 right now. So can 18,100 be broken? Let's see. Hmm. So rejection coming in the see that once again from the same levels.
Uh, so I see some sort of rejection coming in once again. Uh, now, if you have a look at our positions, though, so far we don't have much of an issue. Mm, we are standing at the same. Uh, case scenario. Come to speak with respect to Nifty. Now this would be the point of rejection, this region. So let's see how it plays out. So market is just getting back to 18100 right now. So what formation? We see some sort of a hammer. Sorry, we see some sort of a doji formation here. Okay? So which conveys that, yeah, it's like some sort of a struggle, some sort of a tug of war occurring. So I want a rejection to come in once again. That is what I wish for. That is if one more rejection is coming, no, then it's going to be very good. But let's quickly have a look at what Bank Nifty is trying to do now. Uh, Bank Nifty again, it broke. You see this? So Bank Nifty just broke the day high. That is what pushed Nifty also up all of a sudden. So Bank Nifty is the villain today. For us, for those who were like really bullish, then it is Bank Nifty is their hero. But for us, Bank Nifty is a villain. I don't want Nifty to continue going up. I want it to fall down right now. That's the best in my interest. So see a slight drop happening. I wish this drop continues for at least some time. And once again, I don't want it to fall below 1850 also.
See, Bank Nifty is uh, bullish today. No questions on that. Hello, sir. Hi. Hi, sir. Sir, uh, today morning you have shifted calls to 18,100, right? Yeah. So, when do you exit those? Uh, see, now market is going bullish, no? Yeah, you know, yeah. Maybe I'll shift this put option to 18,100. That is both I'll make same, same. I'll, mm -hmm. I'll so, now, like, right now, both are having uh, same, same premiums. Nothing much to worry about. But market is going really bullish and I'll have to shift. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Sir, I have a doubt regarding strangle actually. Okay, go so ahead. I've been doing these positionals. I enter the trade on Fridays after three. Mm -hmm. So what I do is uh, around 1700 to 2000 for OTMs. Mm -hmm. I sell them okay. and I hedge them with further outer OTMs. So okay. I'm using uh, which one is fire, sir. Okay. So when I'm creating the basket, it will show me, it is showing me that I need a capital of 80,000 margin required. Okay. So I had initially, so last week I was having around 1.5 lakh in my account. So I've been doing one lot for two months now. So I thought, let me do two lots now. So okay. when I entered the position, it rejected though I had a sufficient amount of money. Mm -hmm. Like what would be the reason sir, for that? I. Mm. So uh, I'm not really sure like why that could be happening. So see, one more thing is that uh, when the market moves, see the margin requirement, whenever you're taking a trade. Mm -hmm. So don't think that the margin is going to stay the same throughout. Margin I see. Depending on the market and of actually moving, the margin money or the margin requirement will also change. Okay. So okay. like generally how much money would we need to do one lot? Then it comes to nifty. If you want, you can do one lot with one lakh also. One lakh. Okay. Yeah, yeah. For 80,000, it was. So, uh, on an average, we need around one lakh. Yeah. Uh, okay. Average, like proper risk management, you need, then you need something like one lakh. Okay. So, it's, okay, sir. I'll try to do with one lakh each. You need one lakh. But if you ask me, can I do with 50,000? The answer is yes. If you want, you oh. can like kind of iron condor yeah mm -hmm. if you want you can actually do with 58000 also mm -hmm. but if you kind of actually just ask me for proper risk management i would kind of actually say uh yeah uh, you kind of actually need one lakh mm -hmm. sir like how many points uh, would you suggest to sell otms how many points away from atm that depends on your view. No, so today you feel okay, market is going to be in this range. So you sell it. Uh -huh. That depends on your view. That you know, I can't generalize. Okay. Correct. So, so sir, I made a rule actually. Uh -huh. So I, I thought like average it was taking around eighty thousand per lot. Okay. So I was selling those strikes which would give me uh one point two five percent. So after cutting charges, it was giving me one percent per week. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. I so, messed up in the first month, but second month I did good. Mm -hmm. I can show you the screen also if you want. Yeah, yeah sure, man. Not, not, not now because if I change the this thing, then I'll. Oh, okay, sir. I'll send you a screenshot. Yeah.
and sir one more doubt regarding straddles mm -hmm. so so if i am doing monthly straddle so after selling atms mm -hmm. uh, i hedge it at the edges at the break even points mm -hmm. so that points which i am going to hedge should i do for the same expiry no, a month monthly expiry uh, rip, uh does it take to the monthly expiry yeah like if i am doing monthly expiry i am setting a straddle mm -hmm. so i am hedging them with the uh i am hedging at exactly at the break even points the strikes i i uh, i i didn't understand that problem. like sir yeah uh, so let's assume i am taking december for, uh, okay november expiry monthly mm -hmm. so let's assume premium is at 600 so 1200 points total Mm -hmm. So 1200 points above and 1200 points below, we have our break even. Mm -hmm. So exactly at break evens, I'm buying calls and puts, same mm -hmm. quantity. Mm -hmm. So my doubt is, should I be buying the monthly expiry call and puts or the next immediate expiry? That is the weekly expiry call and puts. Uh, that's up to you. So if you want, you can hedge with weekly options. You can mm -hmm. hedge with options also for best margin benefits. You you can hedge with the same expiry. But same expiry. Problem, Is going to be expensive, so see. I see. I used to do positional. I used to aggressively. Mm -hmm. I used to hedge with weekly option, but now I am not doing because every day we have big gap up, gap down. I lose my sleep. Mm -hmm. So, uh, ideally speaking, if you hedge with the same expiry, that is going to be expensive, but mm -hmm. you can margin benefit. So, if you are doing for the next expiry, so before that expiry, we need to buy the next expiry one and exit the current expiry. Yeah. Okay, okay, sir. Hmm? Yeah, I yeah, got it. Sir, did you ever do call butterfly or I put butterfly? Everything I do. Uh, what is your take on it? That depends on the view, no. So like, now, though, like uh, butterflies, I find see, difficult. I have a difficulty in managing butterflies, but I'm very comfortable in uh, managing ratio spreads or covered calls. Ah, uh, like ratio spreads or straddles. So mm. managing straddles, straddles is my cup of tea. Ah, okay, sir. Uh, like, if you ask me, do I know that this? Yes, I know that, but. You do what you're comfortable with. Ah, I'm doing it for only for expiry. Actually, it is for expiry, right? Sir? You can you can do it like positional also. Nothing. Positional also, okay. So for expiry, it is good actually. The drawdown is low. Very rarely it is going against. Yeah, let's see. Okay, so now yeah. moment is coming, guys. Yeah. Back to eighteen thousand seventy. Let's quickly have a look at our positions. So for now, though we are kind of actually up almost eighty six k over here with our saddles, and now if you have a look at the other stuff, we are up like around forty k. Yeah, forty k. So we are at around one point two lakhs right now. Okay. So now, though maybe I'll have to roll down to eighteen thousand fifty itself. Uh, if things are like this, maybe I'll just shift eighteen one hundred. Now you understand why we shifted from eighteen one fifty to eighteen one hundred, no? Sandwich. So maybe now maybe eighteen thousand hundred to eighteen fifty also we have to shift. Maybe okay, maybe. And uh, okay, I forgot to show something. You so you want to see the algo? So in our algo, rule based algo is like trading almost. Point eight percent is up. Okay, that's a one lakh capital account. Okay, and something that we have started doing only last month. Oops, market is falling.
So if I know we see some sort of a decent uh, dip happening in Nifty, let's see. So Nifty is back to 18,050, guys. Crazy. 18,060, sorry, not 18,050. So where would be the support for Nifty? And what is the trading range? Remember what we were discussing today morning. So what's once again the trading range for Nifty? Same thing. Market hasn't moved anywhere. It's falling. So I think I had a roll down again. That is, I'll just sell eighteen thousand fifty. Okay, I had to do that. I should be. I shouldn't be late. Eighteen thousand fifty put. I'll have to sell. Uh, sorry, eighteen thousand fifty call. I'll have to sell. Falling down very fast. Okay. All I have to sell at the market rates. So we are back on eighteen thousand fifty short saddle. Little bit slippage I had here. Twin cell I say wish for, but still okay. Hmm. So, sir, when you're Rolling down positions, you are adding addi additional positions, or are you exiting the previous one and adding new ones? Yes, I exited and added. Okay. So I uh, had a small trouble while entering into the new position. Mm -hmm. That was a little bit delay was there, but apart from that, it was fine. But something that worked in my uh, worked against me, as in that little bit of a disadvantage I had while exiting. Oops, market is falling down. Can you please tell us as to what is the trades you are having right now? Because uh, uh, you are you are strangling or straddling down, yeah. rolling down. Sorry, right now because uh, whenever it moves down, you move move the roll down accordingly. Now only but other 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 direction we are not knowing that. Nothing. Other nothing. one what you are having? Only eighteen thousand fifty put and uh, eighteen thousand fifty put and call I have. That's it. Eighteen thousand fifty. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh huh. Only that. When it is moving up, you will roll up again, no, no, right? No. Now I won't do anything. Now I'll just exit everything. So hereafter, again, it has fallen on. I'll end up the day. Probably that is what is going to happen because I feel if again fall is coming, maybe uh, 18,050 is getting broken. No? So there is enough room for market to fall. So this is a support. When do you exit, sir? Uh, when do I exit? Maybe if the law of this candle is... That is the I same. see, I see. 
That's so now, okay, right now, 18,050 put call. and call, both you have. Put both call. you have sold. Yeah, both yeah. you have sold. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, actually, we we didn't know as to uh, at the beginning of the market. Where did you start from? Uh, actually, you joined a little bit late. That's why. No, immediately one says, "Okay, fine. Yeah, please tell me." Ah, uh, that that was a problem. No problem. I'll share the recording. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So right now, so market can either find a support over here, stay in this range, or it'll just break down and continue falling down. Breaking down. Uh, now I'll just show you what is the P and L I have right. Now. If you have a look at it. We are yeah, to... yeah. If you are going to share the, we are making around ninety k over here. Okay, in the status part. Now in our other five paisa accounts, also we are making around thirty four k, thirty four k. Okay, so that is almost like one point two four. Correct. So if market is falling down, my, then my P and L will decrease. Then I'll just come out because here after I don't want to manage. I don't want to manage more. It is already almost twelve o'clock. Premiums are also a little bit down now. Uh, I'll just try to wind up the day. If market is to continue going bearish, I don't want to fight the markets as I mentioned earlier. So if falls are happening, the falls are going to happen really fast also, and I don't want to take a chance. Just come out. Okay. Yeah. Uh, can I can I leave the meeting so that because you are anyway leaving? Yeah, sure, sure. I'll, uh, yeah. I'll give you the. Yeah. Please share the recording later. It is falling on really fast. Hmm. Oops! <laughs> Look at that, crazy! Exactly at eighteen fifty. Somebody doesn't want the market to fall down further. So there are many straddles. There will be many strangle sellers or straddle sellers over here also. Okay, that is who would be playing within the same ranges that we are looking at. Who wouldn't be so happy with the market falling down further? Okay, at least I think for beginners, you understand how levels work. Even if you didn't understand anything, it must be understanding how levels work. I ask you.
okay again so can uh, nifty break down this time what do you feel or is this going to be a trap i have a lot of feeling it can break down huh are you i have yeah yeah i have a feeling that it might break down like it might the viewpoint is slightly different like a macro okay. point of view <laughs> you 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 expecting it right yeah yeah i have a... something happening in like us bond markets right now uh, i mean not okay, very well. related like the yields on like the two year rates like uh, they've gone like highest uh, so it just means a lot of people are uh, expecting a recession in the short term ah uh, yeah 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 hmm. i mean yesterday's news was what like yeah could break down good probability i see mm-hmm. but yeah no trade so far i'm not trading this of the okay see if again market is going to fall down then i don't want to do anything and just wrap up go home and have my break first yeah you are trading in nifty hari yeah i am trading in nifty sir Okay. I don't want to do in bank if the bank if the has been daily so tough. Mm, okay. What are you doing? Uh, I am in bank if the from morning directional so. Okay. Run, running good. There is a non-directional forty one three hundred straddle which is still giving money. In in uh, okay you are in forty one three hundred straddle okay. okay so this time the market is to go for a drop again so put side is trading at around 40 and call side at around 30 just wait for some more time again if it is falling i'll just end up i'll just exit this 18 this full position i'll exit and maybe i'll re enter fresh or something like that let me just see to it Hmm. Okay. okay so now there is a likelihood of a breakdown so what i have just done is i have just exited the puts so 80050 calls so i can definitely have so market is just bouncing back then i'll just exit the calls also and i'll just be done for the day okay so i have exited the put options that i have sold Let's see the calls, and uh, let's just see what happens. Okay, so both sides we have actually exited call as well as put eighteen fifty. Just have a look at what is happening. Not much. 
Mm, has been done. Okay, no problem. You just wait. So if I want to do something hereafter, uh, let me just play something white. That is, let's kind of sell something little bit far away. Let's see what could be solved. So I'll just have a quick look at the option chain. So right now, if I have a look at the option chain, 18100 call is trading at around 12 rupees premium. Uh, downside, if I look at 70950 put option is trading at 10 rupee premium. Both together is like 20 rupee. Okay, that is very good. Good premium for me. So I'll do something. I'll go go ahead and sell uh, 18100 call option again. And uh, 17950 put option also will sell. And then we'll stop. And I don't want to take anything else. So 18100 call, I'll sell first. I don't want to play close. We'll just play a little bit far away. 18100 call, I'm selling. Eighteen one hundred call to currently is trading at ten rupee. I'll try selling it at eleven. So 18100 call to we have solved. Let's just see what happens. And on the downside, let's go ahead and sell the 17 and 50 put. So I'm facing little bit slippage. So this execution that I had, I have faced a very big slippage actually. Anyways, so now though the range that I have is this. Just want the market to stay somewhere within this particular range that is above 17 and 50 and below this. So I'll keep stop loss orders also for both. Just leave it. So as far as the positions are concerned, okay, it is kind of fine. Not much of a problem. Still at 17,050, so the market is still at the same place.
So today I have, uh, I experienced some sort of a slippage on five paisa. That is why in execution, like I think I face a slippage of around some four points. So four points slippage costed me almost 10K. Okay, 10K rupees I lost to slippages today. No, it's not a big amount, but then still, it's not supposed to happen. I'm just wondering if I made some wrong executions. Okay, so anyways, so far, uh, now the market is once again within this particular uh, range. Now our p and l almost everything the same, same, not much of a variation. Okay, it's kind of standing, holding the same. So let's see if we can get some sort of better thing at the end of the day. Let's figure out. So meanwhile, if you have any queries you can just let me know uh, any questions you have you can just let me know i think we'll have some time i think we'll kind of actually have some time right now just let me know if any queries Anyone, any queries? Just unmute yourself and speak up. So anything you guys would like to ask, just unmute yourself and speak up. I think now that I'm just done for the day, so whatsoever I have just made, I won't be losing here after because uh, I just trailed to the stop losses and all. So that you now we'll just look forward to preserve whatsoever we have. So any questions, anyone, you can just let me know. Anyone, any queries?
Any questions, guys? Anything you want to ask? Okay, uh, I think then we can just wind up for now. So we can catch up maybe at the end of the day or something. So there's no query, something is there. So these are the status uh, as we just wind up. So we have almost one lakh one hour this thing. No, we kind of actually have around one percentage on the one lakh algo and here also we have around 32k fine so that's it so these are the things that i have so if i have a look at our bangalore franchise maybe they are making around two lakh rupees two to three lakh rupees today uh, at our bangalore trading desk because uh, therefore, we have like many client accounts also in the terminal. Okay. So, yes, I think for now we can just wind up. Thank you all. Have a great day. I will just catch up at later. Okay. After the markets.